Round three. On the play again. Worked so well for us last time. How do you think? I th oh. <laughs> That's got to be a no, right? Yeah, I think we got to mull this. Like, this is essentially already a mulligan to six because of the Align Hadron Network. Yeah. Ugh. All right. Cool. All right. This is good. This hand potentially gets a lot better, too. Goodbye. All right. Hmm. Are we playing a three mana two three? That is the question. Depends. I think now no. No. Hmm. Well, hmm. if we play Stalwart, we actually have something we can use unnatural aggression with. Yeah, but it's it's like good reason we like to just trade for a three draw. Although maybe not. But hmm. another thing is if we draw black mana, better. then we can go healer into Stalwart, which is better, and then, uh, I don't know. I'm just confused. I don't, I don't think, think we play. play. I don't think we play. Two online encampments, four swamps, technically a lumbering falls. An island. And an island, you know. A beast caller savant. Yep, yeah, the lifespring drew, and a whole bunch of stuff. Beast caller savant would actually be great. All right. Yeah. Now I wish you played it, but what do you know? Well, I might just use a reproach on it. Hmm. Can still just use a reproach on it. Approach is so much better against other things. Huh. I guess we still just use a reproach on it, I guess. So This has been a su suboptimal draw. Well, he didn't pre-combat the land. I mean, we could have also just taken two, I guess. Oh? All right. Oh, that's... Sure? It's actually in kind of an odd choice for the black-white deck. It makes mm. me think he's splashing green. Typically, Alter's Reap is not good outside of that... Uh, that strategy. There we go. There we go. So now uh, we can do healer first. We're not in a huge rush to get. There's no need. I think we just play the three four. All right. I guess. I guess. Plus, that mean you mean you know next turn we can use the three four to fight something and play the healer. Or potentially play the beastmaster too if we rip another land, which mm -hmm. is just a, a big beefy boy. What do you got? Can it be eaten by Titan's three four? No. Revealing Eldrazi Devastator. All right. That's scary. And a two drop. Boy, oh boy. This is what I mean. Like, I, I just like maybe I'm maybe my oh that's good. Um, so we that, go healer Andy. into Savant. No, play Savant into healer. But that doesn't make sense. Oh, that doesn't drain as much. Never mind. I'm what we call an idiot. <laughs> we want that full value. With that sick value here. Then we even get to go Beastmaster next turn. Even with that Potentially line. even bounce Savant and replay it with the encampment for more sick value. I mean, that doesn't do a whole lot. All right, he's got his... Uh -oh. Well, we can unnatural we can aggression, aggression that's in response to... Ooh. Perfect. Perfect. Wait a second. Wait a second. We've got six mana, seven... Hmm. All right. There's no point in there's no point in bouncing the guy to activate the beast master again. All you're pumping is our one two. Just, just use the land. I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. It might matter. I guess if he has sheer drop or something, but if he's using sheer drop on that, I don't really care either way. Um. Okay. So, I think what we get to do is unnatural aggression in response to the second activation of Stonehaven <laughs> yep. Medic. So it's, Which is delicious. Yeah. Unless he does it now to attack with the thing. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> that's potent. Mm. That's potent, too. Yeah. That's sick nasty, actually. Um, we do have seven mana. Oh, that's not enough. I think uh, we stick with our plan. Just... Let's just get the, rid of this. 
It sets us up. I don't know. I can you swing think? with Beastmaster too. If I swing with Beastmaster, he takes it, I think. Because if he double blocks, I get to eat one and then trade with the other, and then he's left with, like, nothing. Granted, we lose our Beastmaster, but... He's left with that solely worth it, incidentally. Um, what happens if we just play the Blade Master? We play the Blade Master, but don't attack? He gets to... No, just to play the Blade Master and attack. With just Beastmaster, though, right? We can no. We can attack with the these. Uh, well, they become two. This thing gets up to five though, so he can block our healer, and then I guess he would take fourteen, but he gets to go back up to nineteen. I think I like the unnatural aggression play. I think it's, I think it's good. Okay. Okay. So you want? I actually do want to attack with the beastmaster though, because if he blocks, if he double blocks the beastmaster, I'm willing to trade a beastmaster for both of his guys. That oh, for sure. Both of his synergy guys. Yeah, this is this is good for us. So, he's gonna use Stonehaven medic, and then we just eat his his guy that's getting bigger. I mean, they both get bigger. Well, the more worrisome one. Mm -hmm. Could have also eaten the medic. He's, then he's leaving with a five five and a four four. Yeah, I don't like that as much either. But now he's got one less good blocker, which makes the blade master play better. Ugh. That's a problem. This is eternally frustrating. <laughs> oh my god, the greed. We're going to punish that greed. Oh, the greed. Yeah, I love... Cool. My favorite thing in the world is punishing greed. I love it. It's so fun to punish greed. That attack was such a bad choice. Infinite regret on his part. Can we attack for a million here? Oh right? my god, so much attack here. He can't block anything. Ugh. Oh, just the world of pain he put himself in unnecessarily. Maybe we need to do next turn as well. Is sack the yeah, we can even make it bounce to... like Beast Caller's Avant. Bounce the Savant's got haste. We drain him again. We attack for. I mean, we're currently attacking for what? 20? Just straight 20? I think 30,000. <laughs> is my math off there? Oh, oh sacking that is. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's, that's just great, great for just us, right? Just loses everything. You got it. Oh, it's this. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Alex, make it stop. <laughs> He's still attacking. Oh, my God. The greed. I mean, what are we going to do? We can still bounce Savant and get in with Beastmaster. Well, we can oh play. God. Well, we. Yeah. Well, hmm. You know what you do is you play the Envoy and then you bounce on every blocks. Yeah, that's not bad either, actually. I think that's excellent, actually. I think that's perfect. Yeah, let's play Envoy. And bounce with every block. And I guess we can even play Druid at this point too, right? Doesn't matter. No, yeah, I think you do play it, in fact. And then you just bounce with every blocks. And I mean, I think actually maybe we'll trade that. No, we probably don't trade the Beastmaster. I mean, look, he takes 10 here at least. Yeah. Yeah, we just kill him. He could have. Well, he has this thing to gain life. So, so? am I willing? I think I'm willing to trade a beastmaster for a process. Nah, no, no right? way. There's no need to. Well, yeah, he bends it. That, yeah, he bends it back no. to our hand. That guarantees another ally activation next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if he has, right what, what if he has like if he has rising miasma? We are actually dead. Exactly. Yeah. But, well, so but, let's you know, let's per, let's just hope he doesn't have the miasma. I still think you got to bounce it. I don't understand what the how you, how you could possibly not bounce yeah, it. Yeah, I think you're right. So we bounce our guy, get him, for, get him 10. for 10. We can't... Oh, no, we can still play Beastmaster off of a uh, Savant. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know he has the Blighted Step, but he's also got a Devastator in his hand, remember? And, I mean, he's got no attacks here. Oh, I guess I'm wrong. Um, chuck the Envoy under something. Is 
This it better be rising miasma. Well, if it was miasma, we'd be dead. He would have definitely misplayed there. I mean, miasma would have crushed us. We, we were dead to miasma anyway. Oh, you're it. right. Yeah, because it makes a four for you. Could just have a bunch of blockers here. Um, oh, that's bad. Guess that's a problem. Yeah, we're dead. We're not, well, we're not, we're dead, not dead, but we're pretty close. We get we're to, pretty close. We get to play Beastmaster. Chump the 7-8. No, we are dead, because we, have to, we can't. No, we, we can't. can yeah. We can chump the... No, we can We can play Beastmaster. We have to double chump. Uh, we can take this. We're at 7. No, he activates the step. Oh. All right, I guess we do lose. Wow, that was surprising. I thought for sure we had that. So I'm trying to think if we could have played that smarter. If we had allowed the Beastmaster to trade with the processor, we would have drawn a retreat? You can't think about what you would have drawn. That's not how that works. Yeah, that's true. I I'm just thinking... No, I, oh, I just want to know what how it would have played out differently if we had offered... I think we can just, con I think we can just concede here, honestly. <laughs> I'm just trying to think um, how that would have played out differently if we hadn't... We wouldn't have had a Beastmaster. He wouldn't have had a room processor. So we would have been left with the 6-6. Six, six. We wouldn't have had we to would jump have, with the envoy. We would not have had to jump, no. And we wouldn't have jumped. He probably wouldn't have attacked. Yeah, it would have been a different... Oh, oh my perfect. god. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> he's still got an, he's got an Adrasi Devastator in his hand, by the way. And, uh... So we're still going to lose this game, I think. Yeah, and he has the mana to play it, too, but... That was very conservative of him to not play it there. I mean, I guess that was real. No, there's no if reason we, to play it. If we there. draw a... Uh, oh, oh, come on! <laughs> if we draw a land, though, we can survive the Devastator with the Kazandu. For one turn, it's Survive, though. I mean, we can't beat it. Yeah. Do we have any outs for it? Besides no. the one we just played? No. Guess not. There it is. Yeah, we're just dead. His deck's so expensive. It definitely seems like a deck we should be able to beat. Ooh. Uh, wait, yeah, wait, 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 not, wait, 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 wait. It's got trampled, dude. So I jump with the Grove Tuner. Well, we're still alive. You jump it and we go to three? <laughs> What's the plan? <laughs> hey, we thought there wasn't now with the stupid Align Hedron Network, which, That's true. which That's by the I way, we're keeping in. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Wouldn't mind a turn against. Wow, Inspire Charge? Now I'm really depressed. That's not even that good for his deck. Alright, this seems very winnable, by the way. Um, but Yeah, totally. I don't think this is a bad matchup for us at all. This is gone. So Myers Mouse actually seems too good to pass up on, but we're gonna keep the network too. Uh, probably Sharpshooter. I once again saw nothing that it can kill, right? Sure. I guess a, a great eight birthing eight token, but we saw nothing else. No. Yeah, you can cut that. I think. Um. So another swamp again. Anything else? Still have yet to see any artifacts, enchantments, or lands. Is that right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything. I think this is the way to go. All right. Come on, the two one. All right. Oh, okay. So I guess, uh, yeah, I'm recording now. So uh, one, I guess one thing that's kind of come up now that I've probably done, I don't even know, probably like 30 drafts or something, maybe more than that. Um, Something that kind of is different about this format. There's been archetype, archetypey formats before. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, one that comes to mind immediately is Dragons of Tarkir, which was it just you kind of wanted to be, you know, certain two color combinations. The one that mm -hmm. the reason that I feel like Battle for Zendikar is different is it's actually even a more specific type of archetype format. It's not just yeah, like it's not just play blue red and you're good. It's Play blue red, but specifically look for devoid cards or artifacts. Or play yeah. uh, black green, but specifically look for cards that 
produce tokens and specifically look for things that buff your tokens or take advantage of your tokens. So, but Modern Masters, both of the Modern Masters sets were like that too. Actually, that one yeah. I can't help you with because I, I haven't done any of those. I didn't do any Modern what? Masters. but I... Modern Masters are both incredibly, like, all of the blue-black cards are fairies and they're fairies and you draft them and they're fairies and that's it. But that's, see, that's something that's kind of, something that's different about this than that this format than that format, uh, if that's the case, is not everything in blue and red is devoid or not everything in black and green is token-based. So the problem yeah. is you can't just you can't just draft two color. You have to draft the two colors and hope to get the right cards for your archetype. So it's just mm. it's such a specific format to make like your deck powerful. You, I mean, you can draft mediocre decks all day that aren't archetype specific, but it's just, it's such a specific format that it, it can get a bit repetitive. It is a problem. Mm -hmm. We gotta keep this. There's no way we can mulligan this. No, no absolutely not. We do need a little help, but his deck isn't exactly quick, so maybe we'll be okay. Yeah. Hopefully Malice says something for us this game too. I mean, we pull a Stalwart, we're good. We pull, like, Lifespring Druid or Beast Caller Savant, we're looking good. Hey, Dennis, we won. We got there. Look at that. Sweet. The easiest victory I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah, we won on turn zero. That's how good our deck was. We, we I knew this deck could win on turn zero if we really put our minds to it. <laughs> so, um, overall, I thought the deck was sweet. Obviously, oh, yeah. I don't know why our op Sometimes opponents just, they make obligations and they have to take off. And um, considering we lost game one, I guess I'm not too upset going 2-1 with this deck. Um, no, totally fine. I wish we got to play another sweet game with it, but I'll take it. Yeah, I actually think this is one of the more powerful decks I've probably ever drafted. I mean, obviously there's some exceptions to that, considering we're running Hedron Network and Fathom Feeder and and Sanctum of Ugin. But if we had not played those cards, this deck would have... We could have really made this deck, like, insanely competitive. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's do a final count. We didn't do a final rare count, which I always rare like count. to You're do. You're right. So let's do it. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's actually kind of low for rare drafts. I usually end up with like 11 or so. So they're all in the deck. I mean, what do you want from us? Yeah, eight rares. <laughs> uh, that's probably why the deck looked so good. We didn't end up with double aligned Hedron Network. Well, I'm glad we at least got to play it once and eat some guys. Mm -hmm. That was fun, even though we didn't win that game. Uh, Dennis, I think that was the, the best draft we could have hoped for with that deck. Yeah, absolutely. 2-1. Like oh. I said, we'll take it. Uh, Dennis, please, plug your stuff. Oh, come over to youtube.com slash windmusslandmtg where you can watch us sometimes draft and more often now apparently do dumb game shows. Yeah, so, so yeah. and tell everybody about Win Mil uh, Win Millionaire. I want to know more. Win Millionaire is a game show that I invented where players compete in a game that is pretty similar to a game of magic but is more so based on trivia and it's a lot of fun and we have special guests and, you know the other week we had kathleen from laredo run do a round for us last time we had the professor record a little video segment for us i've got another super special guest who's like a big idol of mine lined up for next time so yeah it's a lot of fun um it's more laid back it's silly uh, but people seem to really like it so if you haven't seen it go ahead and check it out awesome uh, definitely, I recommend everybody check it out too. I even I, I put a link on seemsgoodmagic.com so you even get I to know that. when new uh, win millionaires go up. I'll I'll be plugging more of those. Um, yeah, I so saw. Is it gonna be like a monthly thing or not really? It's like... probably close to a monthly thing. Yeah, it does take a lot of time to prepare and set up and yada yada yada. But um, yeah, yeah, hopefully we're aiming for a monthly thing, and I and I, I have a lot of fun doing it, and I had a lot of fun doing this draft as well. So thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming, Dennis. I'm sure the the fans love it too. All right, well, uh, yeah, check out Dennis's channel, and uh, hopefully we can do another collaborative draft soon. Maybe we'll try something different. Totally. All right. If you're ever down my way of the world, you should, you should totally come on the game show. Yeah. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. All right. All right, Dennis. We'll we'll talk to you later. See you later, everybody. See ya. See ya.